Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 5.23 from Nielsen and Riedel book. So the question is the op M in the circuit of figure P5.23 is ideal. A, what op M circuit configuration is this? So we have this one resistor and a feedback resistor and the voltage source is connected to the positive terminal of op M. So this is a summing amplifier because we have two and that is non-inverting so we will have non-inverting so this is the answer of problem a non-inverting summing amplifier okay non-inverting summing amplifier okay okay now let's do uh question b if you know the formula that's good but i think i will derive this manually so find v0 in terms of vs vs is this voltage source here so this will be vs and this will be 5 volt okay and this is the ground so this will be zero and now let's name this node here as va and this node here as vb okay and because this is an ideal of m the voltage across two terminal is the same so va is equal to vb so we take a note there that va is equal to vb okay we start from maybe va first i want to use kcl at va so i want to assume the direction of the current is like this so we will have kcl at pa kcl at pa kcl said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out yeah and then the only current that goes in is this one so we will have zero minus va divided by 24 okay and that will equal to this is the current that goes in so that will be zero and then plus this one here pa minus p0 here so we will have pa minus p0 divided by 96 okay and i think we can multiply both sides by 96 to cancel out the denominator 24 and 96 will cancel into 4 so we will have minus 4 va on the left hand side and then on the right hand side i will have va minus v0 okay and so we will have v0 is equal to 5 va okay let's have this as equation number one and now we can do another kcl which is at not pb so let's do that kcl at pb again kcl said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out the only current that goes in oh there is no no currents yet so let's assume that so we will have this current and this current there are two currents that goes in and one current which is goes into the op m that goes out right so we will have this current that goes in we will have 5 minus vb divided by 16 and then plus we will have vs minus vb vs minus vb divided by 24 and all of that will equal to the current that goes out which is only into the op m which is equal to zero good and now let's multiply both sides here by i think 48 is good because 16 and 48 will cancel into 3 so we will have 15 minus 3 vb and then plus we will have this 24 cancel into 2 so i will have 2 vs 
and then minus 2 phi b. Okay, all of that will equal to 0. Right, and then what can we do from here? I think we can do 2 phi s minus 5 phi b. Yeah, 2 phi s minus 5 phi b, that will equal to minus 15. Okay, and then because phi b is equal to phi a, we can replace this as phi a, right? Okay, and maybe let's, let's save this as equation number 2, and we can see for equation number 1 and equation number 2. I think we have uh, V0, Vs, and Va. I think we can solve for V0. Okay, now let's do that. Let's clean up the board first. Okay, we have equation 1 and equation 2. I think we can do substitution. Okay, uh, but we can rewrite this first as Va is equal to V0 over 5, right? Now we can substitute this into this. We will have 2 Vs minus 5. And this one will be V0 over 5. And that will equal to minus 15. Right? Minus 5 will cancel. And we will have 2 Vs minus V0. That will equal to minus 15. Or we can isolate V0. So V0 is 2 Vs plus 15. Right? And this is the answer for the question B. Okay. And now let's move on to question C. Okay. Now find the range of Vs. Okay. Maybe let's start from V0. V0 has to be between minus 10 or 10. Or mathematically, we can rewrite that as minus 10 has to be less than equal to V0. And less than or equal to 10. Okay, let's substitute that V0 to this one. So we will have minus 10 is less than or equal to 2 Vs plus 15. And then that will equal less than or equal to 10 okay and let's subtract 15 to all sides so we will have minus 10 minus 15 and then we will have 2 vs plus 15 minus 15 and then it's less than or equal to 10 minus 15 okay so we will have minus 25 on the left hand side and then on the center we will have 2 vs and then on the right hand side, we will have minus 5. Okay, we can divide by 2. So we'll have minus 12.5. And then less than or equal to Vs. And less than or equal to minus 2.5. Okay, because that is a positive number, we don't need to flip the sign. So this is the answer for question C. And I think that's all for problem 5.23. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.